This is a Quantum Bigfoot five and a quarter inch hard drive from 1998. It's the biggest hard drive you'd ever see out of the 90s, as it is a five and a quarter inch size drive. Like an old 80s hard drive. It's actually pretty thin though. Uh, here's it next to a standard three and a half inch drive. You can see it's a bit thinner. And uh, this one works fine. It's very loud, very slow, but it has an 8 gig capacity, which is the whole reason why these were made. So that uh, man manufacturers of computers could buy lower cost hard drives with higher capacity. Although, due to all the engineering required to make this drive, that lower cost part didn't really come true. And they were pretty slow. Uh, this later TX model, uh, spinning at only 4,000 RPM, which is less than uh, old slow laptop drives that spin at 4,200 RPM. And we're almost getting into 80s stepper motor drive territory here, which isn't very good, but they sound really awesome. So uh, I'll give you a listen to, to this guy. This is totally healthy. I don't know how many hours it has. Doesn't seem to support that statistic. And uh, it ha and it's currently in use in a compact tower that I got it out of. So here we go. And there, it finally finished spinning down. Absolutely nuts. This is definitely one of my favorite hard drives I have in my collection. And I had no idea I even had it until I took apart that compact tower. So, pretty crazy hard drive. Here's the back side. So, uh, that's going to be it. It's a shame that uh, Quantum got bought out by our good old friend Max Tor just a couple years after this drive was made because, I mean, back in the 90s, we had so many different hard drive manufacturers. We had Maxtor, uh, Western Digital, Seagate. Uh, we had Quantum. We had Connor. We had others as well. And nowadays, all we have is pretty much Seagate and Western Digital. I don't even think Toshiba still makes hard drives. They might, but I haven't seen any recent Toshiba hard drives. And now we have all the different SSD manufacturers. Uh, so we're starting a whole new era of storage. And uh, stuff like this is a perfect example of what not to do when making a hard drive. But I mean, these seem to be pretty reliable. So, uh, and they're really cool. So that's going to be it. Uh, I'll see everyone later.